All right, and we are going. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I can see you. Hopefully, you can see me. Hopefully, you can hear me. Let me get one quick drink before we get started. Perfect. All right, so this is a Friday class. Um, was hyper, is no longer hyper, hyper's over. What I'm planning on doing, this is going to turn into a tricking slash creative form slash competition slash demo performance class, whatever, whatever we want to call it. Um, I'm going to be doing anything and everything that I know that can help. Uh, this is mostly just going to be for fun. Um, nothing curriculum, really. Um, the only structure that I really want this class to have is, so now I've got the Wednesday tricking class at 1, and I've got the Friday, this class, tricking class, it's just labeled tricking for the time being, um, also uh, at 1. So now I've got two classes a week. Uh, what I want to do is have kind of one tricking combo for the week that I'll go over Wednesday and I'll go over Friday. Um, and we'll try to learn one combo a week. It'll, it'll be short, like three, four moves, uh, just drills that help with footwork, drills that helps. These will be combinations you could stick into a form, combinations that we can work in and out of. And then Fridays, I want to do a little bit of chop, 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 punching and everything, a little stance works, stance working. Um, and then we'll keep Wednesday as the more tricking class, really. Um, and that'll stay with new techniques, drills for getting new moves. Hopefully I can get outside so I can show everybody here that you can do outside. Um, we'll keep working on the drills that we did this week. But for now, I want to take today and just do a short little combo. Um, so whether or not you're here live with me on Zoom, I got at least one person here now. Hopefully more will be showing up. Or this will be up on YouTube later. Um, we're going to go over combo today. I will, I'm going to keep a secret for now, we're going to get there. For now though, we're going to get warmed up, um, I got a hoodie on, it's a little cold down here, I need to get the blood flowing, so I'm going to start with some jumping jacks, some squats, some toe raises, um, normally I, I want to, I need to come up with a better normal tricking warm up, but for now it's going to work, jumping jacks, squats, toe raises, I'm going to do 20 of each, um, two times through. If you got something you'd rather do, go for it. If you don't like these exercises, do your own. Just get warmed up, right? I got 20, 20, 20, two times two. Let's get it going. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Now I'm gonna take my squats. I get twenty of these. And that's 20. Now I got my toe raises. Again, if you can see my feet here, I'm going to push up fast, not lose my balance. Push up fast, kind of let it down slow. Push fast, let it down slow. This is helping that jump, that quick twitch muscle that's pushing you up. I got 20 of these. Let's go. And that's 20. Sorry, I never know what to do with my hands with that. Hands on the hips, hands on guard, hands is ready. I don't know, back here, out here, I don't know. Do what you got. Do what you got to do. Um, I'm going to go through it one more time. 20 jacks, 20 squats, 20 toe raises. Again, just getting warmed up. Let's get it done. Squats. Nine. That's twenty. I got my toe raises. These I'm gonna take a little bit fast. I have more bounce toe raises than the push up. 
but down slow. I'm gonna just take it here, up and ball with my feet, getting that push each time I land, kind of strengthen the ankles as well. Let's get, get 20 of these. I'm gonna go hands on the hips for these. Let's go. Three, four, five, seven, eight, nine, and that's ten. Good, go ahead, shake it out. I'm gonna get a quick break. All right, warm it up a little bit. Let's go ahead and stretch it out. As you can see, I'm gonna start standing right here. I'm gonna take my arms up, take a deep breath, kind of take a side to side. Use it forward, a little bit backwards, and we'll reach it straight down. Reach the toes, reach the ground, ankles, whatever you got. Good. Now, take my feet a little bit wide, nothing too much. I'm not feeling a stretch or anything. And now I'm going to bend, I'm going to reach it down through the middle. And I'm going to take it over my left, reach my toes, going for that nose towards the knee. And I'm going to take my right, same thing, nose over towards that knee. And one more time, I'm going to reach it the whole way through the middle if I can. Reach it back. You can kind of claw the ground, try to pull yourself into it. Feel that stretch kind of in the hip area and the hamstrings. And I'm gonna bring it right back up. Walk my feet in a little bit. Shake it out right here. Um, before we sit down to stretch, I'm gonna do a little bit of active stretching, standing up. Uh, I'm gonna cut my head off way too much. We're gonna take our swing kicks. We got five straight swings, five circle swings, each leg. Um, I don't care which leg you start on, doing both. Five straight swings, five circle swings. Let's go. Again, I'm starting these kind of low until I'm getting everything warmed up where I know I'm not going to pull anything. I'm going to try to point my toes. I think that's five. Make it look nice and pretty. I'm not, no chamber, no snap, no refold. It's all just swings. Bring it around for the hips. I'm trying to make that circle up over my nose with my toes. That's four and five. Take the other leg, swing around. And that's five, good. I'm gonna shake it out a little bit. All right, now I'm gonna have a seat. I'm gonna take it to butterfly stretch here. Oh, everything's snap, crack, and popping. Oh boy, all right. I'm reaching down to the middle. I'm not reaching to the middle. Take my chest down to the middle. I'm trying to push his knees down. Um, we're gonna be doing a little bit of kicking today, so I wanna make sure the hips are nice and warmed up. Hook kicks will be happening. Um, so I do want to make sure we are all warmed up. Um, I do, I got a really cool combo for you guys. Um, Christian, you probably will, will nail this combo. No problem. We were doing this in tricking class a few weeks back. All right. I'm going to take my one leg straight out. doesn't matter which one you start with. We're going to do them both. I'm going to reach it straight down, take my nose to my knees. And I'm going to switch legs. Whoa. All right. Now I'm going to take my straddle, feet up both sides. I'm going to scoot in just a little bit, ease into the hip stretch, and I'm going to reach down to the middle. Oh, reach and reach and reach it. And I'm going to take it my left or right, whichever side you want to start on. Aim for that nose to the knee. And I'm going to take it over the other side. Yeah, it is really a nice day out. I wanted to go outside and teach, but I'm afraid that the wind is going gonna, is gonna to pick up too much on the microphone, the computer. And you guys would just hear. The whoosh 
of the win instead of me rambling on about kicks. I'm going to take down to the middle one more time. Eventually, I'll make it outside to do one of these classes. Um, I'm bring it back up. If you do have a yard, um, I'm going to take it back to Butterfly real quick. Um, with some flat ground, some flat grass that's not too mushy, not too hard. Um, it, it can be really, really nice to do some of your tricks outside, do some tricking, do some kicking, do some rolling. Um, if you got any flips, you can go for your flips. Christian, I'd love to see some front tucks coming back. Um, no pressure, though. Um, but it feels real nice to do stuff outside. Um, you feel real, real powerful. You can be like, yeah, I could just do this outside in my front yard, you know? All right, I'm going to roll it to frog stretch real quick. So eventually, again, I do want to take this outside. Um, but I'm just going to wait for a day where it's not raining and it's not too windy. It's only rain. It's rainy, windy, whatever, bad weather. And all my tricking days so far. All right, I'm gonna stand back up. Um, let's get into this, all right? Let's do some warm up kicks. Um, and then we'll get rocking and rolling onto a combo. So, um, oh, I'm gonna warm up a few things. I'm just gonna shut this. So. There we go. All right, um, I got a few warm up things that will work. The combo, I'm gonna go ahead and spoil it right here. Um, we're gonna have tornado kick. Tsunami or hop over hook, the scoot, and we're going to do that makaku. Um, I'm going to show you how to do this stuff inside with no space. I'm going to show you how to do it with space. Um, I cannot do that combo fully in my basement right here, which is why I want to take outside. Um, we'll get to that in another week, hopefully. We'll probably work on this combo next week as well because it's a really solid one. It involves a lot of basics, a lot of footwork, and a little bit of um, not technique. Um, I think of the word, the makaku. It's going to be a little bit higher level in the stuff. Um, still a decently low level trick, easy to get without hurting yourself, but a little bit cooler for those of you that are not. Um, if you don't know your tricking terminology, don't know you're not in tricking class. It's going to be a little bit cool, um, a little bit cooler up there in terms of some early tricks. Let me check this real quick. Making sure I'm not losing anything before we get going. All right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, um, I'm going to start with my warm-up kicks. I got back leg round kick versus hook kick. Get it all moving, get the hips going. Um, we're going to use both of these kicks technically in this combo. So let's start with these. Let's start with this warm-up. So back leg round kick, bring it across, step it over my reverse hook kick. Again, I'm looking to make these look sharp, make them look clean. Not very taekwondo y of kicks. I'm not pivot, snap, refold, set it down. Um, what I'm doing is I'm kicking and I'm bringing it across so it makes it easy to set into my hook kicks. All right, so let's do these a few times. I'm gonna do, I'm not even gonna count, I'm just gonna do a few until my hips feel like good. Um, back leg round kick, reverse hook kick. Start it slow, start it lower, give me some snap, amp up the power as you get into it, start warming up. Let's go. Back leg round. Reverse hook. And I do want you doing these on both sides. It's just a good warm up. Even though when you're tricking, you generally use just your good side. My good side would be this side. Right leg round kick, because that would be like my right leg tornado kick. And my reverse hook kick would be with my left leg. So um, back leg round kick, reverse hook kicks. Um, I'm keeping them warmed up. Point the toes, extend the kicks, bring them around, make them look nice and pretty. Again, don't have to be nice and taekwondo y. Um, my hook kick, the technique I'm looking for in this, I'm not chambering, I'm not spotting. Hook kick, refold, set it down. This is more of a pull through. As I pivot, it just kind of, I don't chamber the whole way, it's a like half chamber, and then whip it around. Um, if you're in trick class, you already know it. You're doing it just fine. Um, back leg round, two reverse hook kicks. I'm gonna do like two more each side. Oh, last one. There we go. I right, need a quick drink. Okay. 
let's do this. I can see. Maybe I'll make something big. All right, so um, let's keep warming up. I'm gonna do kind of a basic version of each of these kicks, each of the tricks in the combo, and then we're gonna stick them all together as basics. And then I'm gonna show you how you can level it up bit by bit to get to the full combo. So I'm gonna start with a tornado kick. That's been the first move in this combo. If you're in training class, you know the tornado kick. If you're not in training class, you probably, if you're an hyper, you know, the, you know the tornado kick, you better. You better know the, trick, the tornado click, kick. So I'm gonna start, I'm doing my right leg tornado. I'm gonna take a pivot step, lift my left leg chamber up. It's gonna drive up as I push up my right leg. I'm gonna switch and I'm gonna kick across. It can come across as that crescent kick, or you can roll the hips a little bit more and get that round kick out. You can stick a round kick kind of an angle. As long as it looks nice, as long as it looks clean. Um, what I want to focus on is the landing now. So if you have your tornado kick, give me like three of them while I talk about the landing. What I'm looking for is as I tornado kick across, I want this foot to go back. All right? So my kick should come through and land behind me because we're going to use an extra little step in there to get to our hop over hook. So give me a few tornado kicks on your good side. It should probably be your right side for everybody. Uh, the way you trick is generally when I move one direction, kicks are gonna go this way. So, and I'm gonna be spinning to my more comfortable side. For most people, it'll be spinning towards their left shoulder. Kicking, tornado kick would be the right leg, hook kicks with your left leg. That should be generally everybody, unless if you're left-handed, even some left-handed people do it that way. Um, if you're left-handed, you just do it in reverse. So I'm doing right leg tornado kicks, left leg hook kicks, spinning towards my left shoulder. So tornado kicks, bring that foot through. Let's just do a few, bring it around, kick, and I'm through. I can even spin the whole way in spot again. I can bring it kind of back at a diagonal, as long as it ends up behind um, your target, I guess or further away from your target than the other leg. So tornado kick up, kick, and I'm bringing it through. Try to control it, make it nice, make it clean, use the arms to spin. So I'm bringing my arms in, up, kick, and I'm back. Now this is probably gonna be too far. I wanna bring it more here, so I can make the step into my, what's gonna be next to that hop over hook. That step's gonna be what we're going for. So give me like two more, just to get that step that tornado kick to end behind you. So right here, using the arms again, up, kick, bring it through. That's what I want to be. I'm gonna do one more, bring it up, kick, and through. Perfect, all right. Straighten it out a little bit. Make sure you're not pulling anything. Don't overdo the kicks yet. Um, all right, so the next thing, the hop over hook kick, or the tsunami. So the hop over hook, all it is, my back leg chambers, switch legs into my reverse hook kick. The tsunami is gonna be the same thing, but instead of coming up with the chamber on that right leg, I'm gonna swing it straight up and then hop over the hook kick. So it should almost be like a swing round kick, hop over hook kick kind of thing. Um, the hop over hook to me, the more basic version. Tsunami is gonna be a step up from that. The tsunami looks great if you can pull it off really well. The hop over hook also looks great if you can pull it off well. Only difference is if you control keeping that leg straight, swinging it up, and still getting the hop and the height on the hook kick, then go for the tsunami, all right? That one's gonna be that, again, that little extra step up. So let's do a few of these. I'm gonna start hop over hook. I'm gonna do like three. I'm gonna do three tsunamis. And we call it quits there, because this isn't too, this one shouldn't be, you guys have drilled enough of these, is what I'm trying to say. Shouldn't be too hard to get. So hop over hook, bring it up. Hop, hook kick, bring it through. Again, it's a tricking hook kick, not taekwondo hook kick. No chamber snap refill. I'm bringing half chamber, pull it through, set it down, all right? So let's go. Speed it up a little bit, hop over hook, and down. For the landing on this one, I want you to try to bring that hook kick, control it, bring it up, hook kick, and behind you, all right? It's, it's gonna be even better if instead of just going behind me, I can get it just that little bit where I start turning and facing the direction where I'm going because that's going to turn us into that scoot that's coming next. So I'm going to do like one more hop over hook, bring it up, 
foot kick, bring that foot through, pull way back. Now I'm going to do the tsunami. It's going to be the same thing. Swing leg up, kick across, bring that foot back behind me. All right, let me do two more of those. Up, kick, and down. The tsunami helps. I find that I can get more height and a little bit more pull, like a crescent kick. Um, because of the hip turn, when I bring it up right here, when you turn, it almost ends up more like a crescent kick. I think it looks real nice either way. So tsunami, bring that up, and bring it through. All right, let me get a quick drink. I am rapidly running out of breath. Holy cow. All right, so next is me our scoot. If you're in drink class, you've heard this plenty. You're going to need to see a little bit more. Um, for the scoot, what I'm doing, it's going to be a setup move. You can either set up to swing into a flip, like a gainer, the swing back flip, or the corkscrew, the swing back flip with a twist, or you can use it for pops, which is what we're going to work on today, which the pop would be two feet, whether it's a pop kick, pop flip. We're going to take another makaku today, which I'll show you in a second. So the scoot, what's going to happen? We're going to pretend we just came out of that hook kick. That's going to help us. So I just did say hop over hook kick. My hook kick comes through and it's going to set back. I'm going to go to, let me move away from the wall. I'm going to go to almost a twist stance right here. My back leg is bent. My front leg is bent. I'm not front stance here where I'm turned square that way. I'm still facing kind of this 45 degree angle at a twist stance. My left hand, all right, I'm going to do it backwards for everybody in case I'm here. My left hand is going to go down right here. I'm going to lean into it with the shoulder. I'm going to push my left leg through and across, and my right leg is going to follow, and I'm going to end up on the other side of where I started. All right, it's going to be almost like a really funky looking cartwheel, but not really. It's, going to, it's, it's a little weird move, but it's real good for setups. So I'm going to pretend I did that hook kick. My hook kick comes through, back, my left hand goes down. I'm going to push off my back foot and my front foot. Push my hips up and try to get to the other side of my hand. I'm going to show you one full motion or full speed. If I set from right here, I just pull my hook kick through. It's down. And I'm coming around right there. If I slow that down, hook kick comes through. It's going to set down. My hand goes down. Pushing right here. Up. Up. And my feet are going to come down. My left foot should kind of hit first. So as I land, it's going to be like left, right. All right. I'm going to do one from back here so you can kind of see. My hook kick pulls through to that twist stance, kind of 45 degree angle. Left hand goes down. Kick it through right here. This arm can kind of pull up, bring it through. Left foot, right foot. Here's one full speed. My hook kick comes through. Set it down, and I'm going to push, and over. Now, if you are inside, you're going to run out of space really quickly. My scoot takes up most of my room here. So, for doing this combo, we're going to have to adjust it a lot until we can get a little bit more space. If you got outside, you're going to go for it, hopefully. If you're inside, I'm going to show you how to not kick the walls down, not break any windows or anything. Um, that's what I'm dealing with, too. So, now we're going to take... The makaku. What I want to do for this is we're going to work our handstand super fast. But what I want to do instead of just a normal handstand, well, actually, hold on. we're going to do a normal handstand. Let me make sure I get room. Um, my normal handstand, I'm just going to push up. We're going to work that wrist, wrist strength, shoulder blocking, all that real quick. So my normal handstand, do it from here. I put my hands down. I'm going to kick one foot up, and I'm going to try to push off my other foot and get my feet to meet somewhere up in the air. If you can get them right above your head, that's where you're going to find your balance. If you can't and you're just working into it, that's perfectly fine. Um, it's, it'll be good enough for the Makaku. So, my foot goes up, I kick, and I try to just meet my feet right there. I'm going to push and try to get a good handstand off. No promises though, mine are always hit or miss. I'm pushing up. Right there. That's going to be perfect for my Makaku. I'm going to do like two more, kick it up, and bring it right back down. One more, kick it up. And I'm going to bring it right back down. Perfect. Now, we're going to do our cartwheels. If you're inside, 
Christian, just be careful. And you got you got fantastic body awareness and good control. You'll be fine. Everybody else, just watch your surroundings. I'm gonna scrunch my legs up a little bit because I've kicked the ceiling a few times and I like having all my toes. So I'm gonna scrunch my cartwheel a little bit. Instead of extending my legs the whole way, bring them in a little bit, squish my arms, and I'm just gonna get used to that cartwheel motion. What I want you to do, if I'm standing facing you guys, this is my left, taking off my left, I'm gonna stand completely facing this way. And I'm gonna go to my cartwheel. I'm not gonna start here, I'm gonna start here. Lean, push, and down. All right, this is gonna make sense in a little bit. Now, instead of, if you're comfortable facing here, I want you to face uh, like 20 degrees the other way. All right, so now instead of here, facing here. Pivot just a little bit. And now I'm still gonna cartwheel straight that direction. Not straight this direction, because okay, I'm facing this way. I'm gonna do this direction, all right? So I'm leaning back a little bit, pushing cartwheel and down. Now, if you're comfortable with that, I want you to keep turning it to, until you get to like 45 degrees. That's where I want you to be. So now instead of facing you guys and cartwheeling this direction, I'm gonna take where I'm facing 45 degrees that way, all right? So now I'm facing here. My cartwheel still has to go straight behind me though. So let me check on time. Oh, we're doing just fine. So now I'm facing this direction. I got to turn and I'm going to cartwheel over my shoulder just that little bit. I'm turning back, cartwheel, and there. So I'm still cartwheeling straight towards this wall right here. I'm not going off at a funny angle because I turned that direction. Now the way that this plays in, the makaku is a, it's kind of like your intermediate area between a cartwheel and a back handspring. So back handspring so you guys see gymnasts doing, when they take it back, they arch their hands go down, they whip their legs over, it looks all pretty. Usually it's for a setup into another back handspring or a super mega triple backflip or something. Um, the makaku is going to be working into that, getting you guys going over backwards a little bit, but it's still working your cartwheel where you're staying safe and you're not going to fall on your head. So we're going to pretend we just did the scoop because this is where it's going to work in. My scoop, my left leg came down first, my right leg came down second. I'm in a decently wide stance. I'm not, I'm not coming here when I land. I'm coming about here a little bit more than shoulder width. So I'm right here, facing that direction. I'm coming out of my scoot. I'm gonna dip down, go ahead and squat down. My left hand, I'm gonna cartwheel straight backwards. Facing this direction, cartwheel straight backwards. It's crazy, I know. My left hand's going down. I'm gonna reach my right hand up a little bit and over. This is the makaku, the full thing. I'll show you how to break it down even more in just a second. I'm pushing my hips up. Again, I gotta scrunch my feet a little bit. I'm going up and I'm coming down. So it should look mostly like a cartwheel, but it kind of gets you that motion of going backwards a little bit. So let's break it down even more. So we did a 45 degree angle cartwheel this direction. Now let's take it full 90 degrees. I'm gonna show you how to. So this is coming out of our scoop. Again, a little bit more than shoulder width apart right here. I'm gonna squat down so I'm not jumping back into this, all right? I'm gonna squat down, put my left hand down, I'm gonna turn and face you. Now, my body is still, my feet are still facing that direction. I've turned in this direction. Now I can see where I'm cartwheeling, right? This should feel almost like a normal cartwheel because I'm facing this direction, cartwheeling that direction. So my right hand just has to reach across. I'm not reaching up or anything yet. Straight across, started out easy. I'm pushing most off this foot. I'm kicking both feet up. And you can stay on one hand if you're getting real good and comfortable with the balance, or I can push that second hand, which I recommend when you're starting out. I'm gonna push my hip up almost like a bridge. I'm gonna reach, kick, and cartwheel over. All right, Christian I see is getting it done. Um, so let's do, give me a few of those. Get comfortable with it, do what you can. Um, if you're not quite comfortable even facing the complete opposite direction, start here. Squat down, push, cartwheel up. Again, I do apologize for the ugly cartwheels. I, I got no way around that ceiling right there. So, start with what you can. Start here. Squat, pushing your cartwheel that direction. 45 degrees. Squat, pushing your cartwheel. If you get real good, 
what you want to aim for with the full makaku is facing this direction. Hand goes down, and when I push up, my other hand is not going to reach over or across. It's going to reach back. All right. Some people don't even add that second hand. They just they push, and that kind of helps them up. But they only have the left hand on the ground. Whichever way you do it, you can make it look more like a back handspring coming over, or like a flash kick type thing with your hand down. Or you can bring both feet up and over. Whatever works, all right. However you want to work into it, whatever style you're looking for. But when, when I what I'm looking for is that you're comfortable getting that one hand down and pushing at least a little bit up and back instead of straight to the side. All right. So give me like two more of these. You're gonna squat down. I'm gonna face completely this direction. Squat down. One hand goes back, push it up, and I'm coming through. All right. I'm gonna do one more. If it's not making sense, here, I'll do it from this direction too, um, so you can see all sides. I'm squatting down, left hand back, and I'm pushing up and over right there. All right, Christian, let me see one. Perfect, yeah, he's got it. Um, he's been working in tricking class. Every in tricking class, this, I, I went over this like three separate times. You guys are tired of hearing this. But this is such a good move. Um, it's a really good one that you can work your way into without hurting yourself, without any dangers. Um, but it also looks super cool and can be used in a lot of ways. So, we've got our four moves. Tornado, hop over hook slash tsunami, scoot, makaku. Alright, decently beginner trick and combo, but at the same time it's not just back of the ground kick, reverse hook kick. Jump back leg round kick, all right? We did those another day. I went over all the easy jump kick, had to level them up. This is your first like real tricking combo right here. So, um, again, if you're in tricking class, you guys have been doing combos a while, you guys know this stuff. Um, feel free to add what you want. Put your flair into it. Um, if you got a move you like, Christian, you got that aerial, you can take that into your scoot. Aerial to scoot looks fantastic. Um, a nice one hand cartwheel to scoot works. Um, you could scoot back handspring, um, since now you got that one, um, just don't hurt yourself. Um, so let's, let's start working this one. I'm facing that direction for no reason. Let's face this way. First moves that tornado into tsunami slash hop over, hop over hook. So I'm doing this one. What I told you was to bring that kick through because that's going to work into our footwork into the tsunami. That's going to take a little bit of practice to make it look clean. This is what I'm looking for. Let me, I'm going to make sure you can see my feet here. So you can see the footwork going on. So I'm gonna do it straight out. What's gonna happen is tornado kick coming around. I have to then step towards the front, towards my targets, to get to that hop over hook position to keep myself moving the right direction, kicking the right direction. So here's full speed. We'll break down in a quick second. Tornado, I'm gonna do hop over hook, then I'm gonna do tornado tsunami, show you the same. Here we go. So tornado, step, hop over hook, and down. Here's tornado tsunami. Bring it up and down. So let's break this down a little bit. That little bit of a step makes it look fancy, all right? If you don't have the super high level tricks, you just make your easy ones look fancy and that's how you get respected, all right? So there's your little cheat for the day. So tornado kick, bring it up chamber, kick, setting it down behind me. I'm taking this kind of pivot step Hitting almost the front stance here. My back leg brings that chamber up and around to my hook kick. All right, sorry, this computer's dinging at me. So this that footwork, my tornado kick comes through. Step forward. I almost hit that front stance. I have to bring this back leg, whether I'm doing tsunami swing or the hop over hook chamber, it's gotta come out and around to get you into that spin for the hook kick. Because now you're not set up where you're bringing it across. Now you're set up where it's going forward. My body is just shifted forward. My, me my momentum's going this way. I've got to stall this. But at the same time, it's going to, well, not stall it. You've got to make that spin and not stall. Back leg can't swing straight up. And then try to force the spin hook kick. Um, if you bring that chamber up, especially, you get less um, less momentum out of this chamber than you do the swing. 
Um, so make sure it's not coming straight up, straight forwards. As I take that step forwards, I've got to bring my hips around and make that spin happen. Use the arms too. That's super important. So tornado, I just did that step. I'm going to do a hop hook. I can't do this. All right. I can't bring it up and try to force this hook kick around. I can still make it look okay, but it's much more difficult to go up and try to make the spin happen than if I can just bring it around and over, right? Hopefully that makes sense where you're seeing it. Now with the tsunami, same thing. If I swing it straight up, I've got to force this. I get no spin off of it. Just because I'm blocking up this way doesn't mean I can just swing my foot straight through, all right? So it's got to come around, out, and make that spin happen. So I took that step. Don't swing up. It's going to come across almost like a round kick. Up, kick, and down. Hopefully that makes sense. Make sure I'm still going here. All right, so hit that footwork. Don't swing it straight up. Swing it across here to bring that hook kick the whole way around. So let's do just those two. Tornado tsunami or tornado hop hook. Work that footwork, make it look clean. What I'm looking for is to hit the kick, bring it through, step, swing, and around. You guys kind of see you accentuate that swing. This is how you make it look fancy. This is how you make it look good. Out of my tornado kick, which came around here, it sets down. When I step forward, right here, my arms are out. I'm taking a deep stance. I'm moving out of the, my combo would normally go this direction. I'm going to stop that movement and go forwards. I'm coming right at you. I'm coming up, but then I'm going to swing it to the side. I'm going to kick through and keep going that direction. It's a little bit of that, like, people see this, they're expecting you to go point A, point B, point C, straight across in this line, or straight across in this line. But what I'm doing is point A, instead of going point B, I'm going A, detour at you. Then I'll come back to point B, maybe point C, all right? Adding a little bit of that creativity, that different, that stutter step in there, that pivot, up, lift, make it look big. That's what's gonna catch, that's gonna catch people's eyes. So give me this a few times. Tornado, hop over hook. If you have the hop over hook real easy, I dare you try the tsunami. If you have the tsunami real easy, I dare you make it the highest kick you can. I can almost get the ceiling on a good tsunami. I even tried because again, I like my toes, but try for that height, make it look clean, stall it out a little bit, use that, swing it up just that little bit, bring it up. Hey, look, it's me. Bam, here's a hook kick. All right, put that style in it. So, tornado, hop hook, tornado, tsunami. Let's go. I'm going to do a few with you. Right here, up, and around right there. And again, pull that hook kick back through. Um, we're going to get to that in just a second. Do a few more, and I'm going to show you where we're going from that because we are running a little bit low on time. We're going to make this work. So, tornado, tsunamis, let's go. There. All right. Hopefully you just finished up your um, tornado hop hooks. Uh, sorry for the cut in the recording, cut me off. Um, start a new one, we're gonna finish this up. Uh, so we just did our tornado hop hooks. We are getting that footwork, stepping into it, right at the audience, right at your targets, whoever, whatever you're practicing it. Bringing that leg up, whether it's the swing or the hop over into that hook kick. Again, taking that little moment to pause, stall it out, make it look nice and big. Um, so tornado hop hook finishes up right now, and we're gonna move on. I'm gonna do one more with you guys. Bring it up again, hitting that footwork. This is what I'm looking for right here. So tornado up, set up, and bring it around. That foot should come back. All right. Let's go ahead and move it on. Uh, let's do this quick, just so I don't get cut off my recording again. Um, so now our hop hook or tsunami is going into our scoot. All right. So the way this is going to work is as that hook kick pulls around, I'm going to set it down to that twist stance, all right? That's kind of that 45 degree angle. My left hand is going to take into that scoot. This is going to flow really well, all right? So my left foot's coming, or my, yeah, my left foot's coming back. Left hand's going down. And I'm leaning into it. Push. 
around right here. All right, so just those two kicks. We've got um, hop hook or tsunami into our scoop. Watch your space a little bit. I've got to crunch mine up a little bit. We're gonna we're gonna work it out. So do those two. Let's get a few of these in. This is what I'm looking for. Bring it up, hop hook, kick down right in my scoop. You can kind of see it. It's, this is a really nice flowy move, two move combo. So again, same thing with the tsunami. Bring it up, kick through and down. Um, what I'm looking for on the scoot, I know I can't quite show you in combos. What I'm looking for from from this is you get this nice extension from that hook kick. I don't want to have this nice hook kick coming around and then this kind of scoot where you go. All right, I don't want it to look like a hop. You should be able to bring this hook kick through and then arch a little bit, push your hips up as you scoot through and bring it through, all right? Now, another way to look this make, make this look nice, use that right hand as well. So as I bring that hook kick through, if you find yourself leaning really far into this, hook kick comes through, and as I push, both hands. All right, that can kind of help you get that stability to arch, pull that, that right leg if you can extend it, and kind of let it lag a little bit behind. You're coming through, watch my right leg right here, when it comes up, See how I can control it and set it down when I want to. That's what I'm looking for. That's going to help you get into swing. That's going to help you control that pop out of that. Um, it's going to help us in that makaku too, which is what we're doing next. So give me two more hop hook or tsunamis in that scoop. Let's go. I'm going to do hop hook first. Scoot through. Didn't kick anything. Now I'm going on to tsunami. Swing that leg up. And push through right there. Perfect. Now, last two. We got scoot, makaku. Now, I don't. I can't do this in my basement. Um, cut my head off. Can't do this with this amount of room. So I'm gonna take a little few hops in between. Um, see what I mean? It's gonna be a little strange. What I'm doing is I'm taking the scoot as I come through. I'm right here. I'm facing this direction. There's my steps up. I'm already kind of low. I'm landing out of my scoop low, which makes it really easy to reach back, spot over that shoulder, push, and makaku right there. It flows really nicely. So right in that scoop, I'm landing here, putting my hand back, pushing up and over for my makaku. So that's our last two. Let's do these. Let's walk it through slow. So I'm taking my scoop. As that foot hits is when I'm thinking about turning and pushing. So I'm going to pretend it just came down. I'm right here. I'm finishing my scoot. It comes down, push, up, and I'm down right there. So let's do that one more time. Um, let's take the scoot whole way. Right here, I'm pushing through. I'm going to adjust. My foot's coming down, push, and kaku over. Hopefully, if you got room, extend the legs. Try to point the toes a little bit. Christian's looks really nice. Um, he's getting the extension, um, so try, make it look big, all right? I'm crunching mine again. If you don't have room, I totally understand. Crunch up so you don't hurt yourself. But if you do this outside for real, which hopefully I'll show you soon, um, so I want to do an outside class. Um, that's when you can really push through the hips, extend, get that kick, the, the leg up and over for that makaku. All right, let's do this one, one more time. Scoop Makaku. This one's kind of self-explanatory. You're ending, same start position, so makes it really easy and convenient. So right here, scoop, bring it through, set it down. I'm going to pretend that foot just came down. Push, up, and I'm back. Perfect. Now, this is what we're going to do. I'm going to get a quick drink so I can save my breath. And then, we are going to put all four moves together. This is going to be a really nice beginner, any intermediate level combo. Um, you're getting upside down a little bit. You get that makaku. You got a spin kick. You got that nice step out of line. That little bit of a um, something that makes it pop. People see it and be like, "Oh, that's pretty. That's pretty. That's pretty rad. That's pretty cool." You know, uh, that guy knows what he's doing. Um, so let's take all four. We got tornado. 
Tsunami slash hop hook, scoot, Lukaku. I'm gonna need a lot of adjustment steps, all right? So don't judge me too hard. Um, after the tsunami, I'll probably have to scoot back, do my scoot, move back, and Lukaku out of it. So uh, you'll see mostly what this combo is gonna look like. Again, I'll try to show you for real, eventually, weather permitting. So all four moves. I'm going to do it kind of fast, show you what it's like with my adjustment steps, and then I'm going to walk you through it slow. Then we're going to do a little bit faster, a little bit faster, a little bit faster, full speed, and we'll call that a class. All right? Sounds good. Sounds good. Sounds good. Perfect. So I'm going to do this once, full, mostly full speed, mostly full power with the room that I can, my adjustment steps. Um, just watch. Start thinking about how it's going to flow together. You've got move to move, move to move, move to move. We just did all that. Now all you have to do is move to move to move to move, all right? All you do is just squish it all together. You've got each individual mechanic, each individual footwork. All you're going to do is mash them together. So here it is, tornado. I'm going to do tsunami. Feel free to do whichever one you want. And then scoot the copy right here. Here we go. Bring it up. And back, there we go. That's a combo. So, again, with the adjustment steps, kind of full speed, you can kind of see when I do my tsunami, I'm noticing it too, you kind of cheat it. I swing and as soon as I'm up, I bring it in. That helps my spin. I could, technically it's a hop over hook since I'm not keeping it completely straight. Um, do whatever you want, you know. They both look fine, half and half. Swing straight, bend, pull it in. As long as the kick comes out, that's what I'm looking for. I'm no judge, all right? So, let's break it down. Just a little bit slow, all four moves, see if you can keep up, all right? Let's do this. Make sure to check your area one more time. Checking mine. Yep, mine's still here. All right, so, let's do this. All four moves, tornado, hop hook, slash tsunami, scoot, makaku, slow, let's go. So, tornado, up, step, step, hop, hook, I'm going to set it down, adjustment step, so, uh, scoot, bring it back, push Makaku, and I'm up. I think you made it. If you just did that whole thing, give yourself a round of applause. That's a pretty pitiful round of applause. Make it a little bit better. That's your first tricking combo, or second tricking combo, or 20th tricking combo. I don't know. If you're in tricking class, you might have already done this one. Um, if you're in hyper, I know you haven't done this one. So, um, there's something to work on. Let's do a little bit faster, but congratulations. That's four moves. You learned it in what, like, uh, my watch is no longer accurate because I messed up my recording. Um, you did it in 40 minutes. Should be something about like that, 40, 45. Let's do it faster. Let's make this work for us. So, tornado, hop hook, slash tsunami. I'm going to do tsunami this time. I'm going to try to keep that leg straight. Don't yell at me too much. Um, the tsunami, scoot, makaku, a little bit faster, a little more power, a little bit more extension, a little bit snap. Let's go. And up. Oh, taking my breath. Hopefully you stayed in with that one. That one felt good. I know my tsunami still wasn't very good. I gotta get better at pulling that leg up in the middle of that. I'm just scared of kicking something. All right. A little bit more power. Let's do it two more times. This one is going to be almost full speed. Next one's going to be the challenge round. Do it as fast as you can, as strong as you can, as powerful as you can. But let's do this. Let's get comfortable with it. Here we go. Tornado hop hook. Slash tsunami. Scoot Makaku. Go. And back. Good. Now, if you saw that time, I had hop hook. Scoot. When I did my Makaku, I only put one hand down. That's when you're comfortable with it. Make it look a little bit cooler, right? Try it if you can. Here we go. Challenge round. Full speed. Full power. Full snap. Full extension. Uh, without running the wall, without kicking your dog, without kicking your parents, without running through a window. You got this. Let's do this. Four moves. We got it. Here we go. In three. I got the breath first. All right. In three. In two, in one, let's see it. I need that snap, and go. Eh, 
and back. Go ahead and give me a spin chop punch. Aya. And you are done. That's drinking combo. That's four moves. That's four transitions. You got a nice little pop in there. A little bit of audience appealing. You got a nice upside down move. You got the macaque. It might be new to some of you. Um, you got to transition the scoot. Hopefully new to some of you as well. I just spilled water myself. That's all right. Um, tornado kicks are looking good. Hop hooks. Tsunamis. Make those good too. Um, that's all I got for today. Um, again, Wednesday tricking, Friday tricking, both labeled tricking. I want to do a combo a week. I'm going to throw in some drills on Wednesdays. Um, I'm going to do more combo work on Friday because that's going to be, that's technically taking place of hyper. Um, I want to do some more hand combos, some chop, chop, chop punching. Um, we're going to get into that, moving in and out of our combos, adding hand techniques on either side. We're going to have a blast. I got a lot of stuff. Um, keep up with the other classes. Keep up with your stretching. Keep up with your working out. Don't stop doing your push-ups. Um, turn to the Zoom classes. Ms. Sanchez is putting so much work into this. She is working hard. She's doing a lot of work for you guys, all right? Respect her. Do the classes. 